Hey folks, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting and today I want to show you how I attach my external microphone to my handy cam. The Canon Vixie that I used for videotaping last year was excellent as a beginner's camera, but there's one big piece I think it's missing and I'm going to talk to you guys today on how you can mount a cold shoe directly on top of your camera. of things that I have here to go ahead and do this uh, on Amazon I purchased this small rig cold shoe and when it comes out you'll see that it's metal it's pretty sturdy it's got some arrows in to show the direction that the actual shotgun mic slides into uh, definitely a solid piece there's also holes to be able to screw it but today I'm not going to be doing that I'm simply going to be adhering it with double stick tape One issue with the flat surface is the fact that the top of the Canon Vixie is not straight. It's curved. So what we have to do is we're going to have to add a couple additional pieces to the bottom here to be able to make almost a curved surface underneath this as well. And one thing that's really important to take a look at is whether or not you want the arrows pointing forward so that the actual shotgun mic will point forward over top of your camera lens. Or what I did is I pointed the arrows sideways so that my shotgun microphone is gonna to point to the right and there's no way that any of the windsock is gonna get in the camera view when I'm shooting. So I'm taking that into account. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna take this little piece right here and I'm gonna attach it right on the very edge that we see right there. And I'm going to take the backing off the other piece and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side, trying to get it right on the very edge that you see right there. The end result of what you see here is the fact that these two strips on the edges give it a bit of a curved appearance so that it is going to adhere a bit easier to the top of the curved surface of the Canon Vixia. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and to the top of my Canon Vixia, I'm actually going to stick it down onto the top of that, grab a rubber band, and I'm going to um, compress it really tight for about an hour to make sure it sticks as good as I possibly can. So I have it stuck on there now. I'm going to go ahead, like I said, take a rubber band and uh, I'm going to wrap that rubber band around there to make sure I've got the glue from that double stick tape really compressing on the top of that. And there you go. Now we have an actual cold shoe that is mounted right on top of the camera. So it reduces the number of screws there into the bottom of the camera. Thus the bottom of the camera is going to attach directly to the base of my tripod or directly to base of my video head. And I think it's gonna make it much more stable when I'm out shooting fall hunts. So this is what my setup looked like this year. I had this uh, extended arm which mounted to the bottom of the camera right here, the cold shoe at the top that held the shotgun microphone. And this still is really effective when I go out scouting. But I found that when I screwed this up into the bottom of the camera right here, and then I had to screw the base of the tripod or the base of the fluid head into here, ended up having two screws and it made this very unstable when I was shooting any zoom shots greater than 50%. So I came up with an idea to fix this this year by simply adhering a cold shoe right to the top of the actual Canon Vixia camera itself right here. 
This gives you an idea of what my setup looks like on top of my fourth arrow arm and video mount. The one thing that you notice is it's really sturdy on top of that anymore. And now when I zoom out, I'm not going to get nearly as much shake as I did before when I had two screws mounted underneath the camera itself. Again, I chose to go ahead and mount my microphone sideways. There's no reason that you could not adjust your cold shoe that you put on there with a double stick tape so the arrows pointed forward so that you could have your shotgun microphone pointing forward. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have an issue where wind caused some of the windsock to end up in the view of the camera when I was videotaping right there. I love the amount of information that the hunting community shares through social media, especially through YouTube. I'm hoping that this hint or trick that I gave you tonight is gonna to allow you to have more stable videos when you go out to self-film your hunts next fall. This is Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting, telling you to have a great night and please subscribe. Talk to you soon, guys. See ya.